Hey everybody, uh, this is Elliot with ECD and today we're going to look through our new Android based EV control system for our custom Land Rovers and Jaguar vehicles. So firstly you'll notice we've got a dedicated home screen. Now this is customizable, we can set this up to anything we want. We can change all the notifications, the icons, the actual actions that we take from this screen. But we've got it set up in a, a basic format today just to show you roughly what it can do. So any normal functionality radio in a car, first thing we have is radio. So in here we've got our radio. We're inside so we've got no signal at the moment. We can come back out of that. And secondly, we've got our CarPlay link. So if you're on an Apple device, you can use all the normal functionality of CarPlay. You can use all the apps from your phone that work. TalkSport, most important. But they're all there. WhatsApp's there. You can do WhatsApp calls. You can do normal calls. So if you want to get back from the CarPlay screen, we just hit the back button and we're back to our launch screen. So then we have our EV control center. So this is really the connection between you as the driver and the EV system of the car. So if we pop in there. So what we can see, we've got a few options in here. So this is basically a little home screen that gives you a little summary. We can go into the vehicle details. So in here, we'll be able to turn on our AC system. We can turn on our heat system. So this is to turn on the major component and then we can fine tune it down here like normal. Then you've also got in here the cruise control system. So we can turn that system on and off. We also have drive modes in here. So we've got eco, normal and sport. We have our options for regen braking to switch on and off. So that's if you don't like the feel of the EV system where it brakes as you let go of the throttle. You can turn that off so it just rolls like a normal gas powered vehicle. And then we've also got the idle creep in there. So I think that's a nice little feature of this system. So it allows you to drive the car like a normal gas powered automatic. So if you're in a, a parking lot, for example, and you just want to roll around slowly, you don't have to give it any throttle. You can just let go of the brake and it'll creep itself forward. It's also quite handy when we're doing hill starts or if we're on a slight incline in traffic and it will stop the car from rolling backwards, which is a, a nice little feature. On here, we also have our energy tab. So it'll tell us what we're charging to, what our current charge percentage is, and how long it's going to take when it's charging. And then we've also got a few monitors, so we can look at our battery temperature, battery voltage, and cell volt. So then we also have our standard applications. If you're not wanting to run Android Connect or Apple CarPlay, you can just connect your phone via Bluetooth to the radio system. So up here we've got the normal phone icon. You can type the number in, you can look at your recent calls, everything like that, contacts if you download them all through add the Bluetooth devices, look for new ones, all your normal standard Bluetooth modes. And then we've also got standard Bluetooth music player. So I'm using CarPlay, so I've not really set this up very well for the demo, but in here you would have your normal Bluetooth um, music streaming through. And then lastly, if we want to configure this screen, we can look at any apps that we may have downloaded onto the system. We can move these across, we can have them on shortcuts, we can set it up to however we want. We can change this display here, so we can have speed showing there, we can have time, um, compass, whatever you like. Um, the whole system is very configurable, so if there's something you'd like us to do, we can pretty much do it. 